So we have gone through the first two rules of logarithm. So now the focus will be on the last three rules. So if you can perform the three rules very well, logarithm is actually quite easy. So now we look at um, rule number three and rule number four. So basically rule number three will right, help you to reduce two logarithm. If you look at rule number three and if you look at rule number four, it help you to reduce two log into one log. So can you see log plus log became a single log or a log minus log also gave you a single log. So rule number three and number four help you to reduce it, reduce the number of log from two to one. Okay, so in this situation, you must be aware of the condition. So the condition will be same base. So for rule number three and number four to work, it must be same base. So if it's not same base, that's where our change of base will come in. Then there is also another condition uh, for the rule to work. It has to be one lock. Can you see this is a single lock plus a single lock. And then the two numbers became a product. So it has to be one lock plus one lock. So in the situation when there's two lock plus one lock, Okay, we'll do something else so later on. I'll talk about it. So the same for rule number four. It has to be one single log minus another single log. So the subtraction make it into a fraction. So make it into a log of a fraction. Okay, so to illustrate to you the idea, Okay, I'm going to use part A here. If you look at part A, it is one log plus one log. And it is same base. So if you look at part A, it is one log plus one log. And it is same base, so it became a product. So one lot plus one lot, it became a product. So for part B, it is one lot minus another one lot. And it is same base. So according to rule number four, it should, became, uh, it should become a fraction. So we reduce the number of lot and it become a fraction. So this divided by this, which gave me a five. So in the situation where it is not one log, we got to use rule number five. Rule number five is the one that bring down the power or we can bring up the power. So rule number five is the useful formula for in logarithm where we can bring up or down the power. It will help us in question like part D. So if you look at part D, you got two log subtracting one log. So that doesn't match. So if you've got two log subtracting one log, it doesn't match. So we will use rule number five to bring up the power. So we will use rule number five to bring up the power so that I will get to one log minus one log. And when I get to one log minus one log, 
I can apply my rule number four, it will become a fraction. So this is the basic condition that you need to know for rule number three, four, and five. So in the next example, we will show the backwards for such question, for, for the use of such rules.